Ladies and gentlemen, it is March 1st, 2012. We are here at the Canadian Action Party campaign headquarters in the Toronto Danforth riding for the upcoming by-election taking place on March 19th. I'm here with Canadian Action Party leader Chris Porter. You can see his work at votecap.ca. Chris, thank you for being here. Thanks. Um, Chris is uh, running uh, for Member of Parliament in this riding uh, with some very specific ideas. Uh, and so, Chris, uh, if you wouldn't mind explaining a bit about the Canadian Action Party and then we'll get into yourself. Well, the Canadian Action Party believes that we need to stand up for Canada and the best way to do that is to preserve our independence through our monetary reform and parliamentary reform. And as long as we execute those, we'll be able to preserve Canada as a nation. Fantastic. All right. So. Parliamentary and monetary reform. What is monetary reform? Well, most Canadians have forgotten or they just don't know that we actually own a bank. We own the Bank of Canada. It's our national bank. And it uh, was nationalized in the 30s to get us through the Depression. Got us through the Second World War, built our Trans-Canada Highway, built our health care system, and created the great nation that we're enjoying today. But unfortunately in the 70s, the government moved away from utilizing the Bank of Canada and started getting more involved in global private banking solutions for our nation, which has diluted us and has burdened us with a huge amount of debt. And we now pay $170 million of interest each and every day on supporting this debt. And that uh, works out to half a million dollars for this riding. And that money can be better spent in our ridings and in our communities for our future. You're saying roughly 30 million Canadians spends over 5 million a day each on, 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 or, uh, on debt? Maybe? 170 million. 170 million. Yeah, 170 uh, million a day. So, uh, the math is fuzzy, but you get the idea. <laughs> it's only 30, 30, 35 million of us. We're spending 170 million per day in terms of paying back the debt that we owe to foreign banks, to foreign creditors. And in exchange for the, uh, the, uh, the payment of that debt, uh, it essentially, and in, in, in loaning us the money, um, there are some sort of control stipulations attached, similar to any sort of creditor. So we're, we're sort of losing our sovereignty the more we rely on foreign countries and foreign banks to loan us money, and the more we owe them and the more interest we pay to them every year. Yeah, and every household understands it now. The documentation is out there. Every household is faced with 150% of debt load versus uh, income that they're gathering into their households. So they're feeling it. They understand what interest payments are. But as a nation, we're paying these interest payments as well. And in order to continue these interest payments, we're taking the money out of social programs, we're taking money out of infrastructure projects, and we're just satisfying global private banking interests. And as a nation, we need to restore the Bank of Canada. It's still on the books. It's still able to invest uh, through the municipalities and the provinces, and we can still utilize it. So. It doesn't make sense to many of us, and that's why the Canadian Action Party is so strong on the Bank of Canada. If it worked to get us through the Second World War, if it built the Trans-Canada Highway, what have we done since then that equals the difficulty of those past times? Right. You never see in the paper or on the news or on the CBC or, or whatever, uh, you know, huge infrastructure project paid for by the right. Bank of Canada. <laughs> public funds, uh, debt and interest rate print, printed uh, uh, by our government using the Bank of Canada to circulate money into the economy as a means of exchange without any foreign country to owe anything to. Because essentially, he who controls money controls power and controls the power over your nation. And if we are half a billion dollars uh, in hawk to foreign bankers and paying $170 million a day in interest, which is completely insane, I think, um, then it's certainly an issue worth investigating. Go to votecap.ca for more on that. And we will continue this. We'll pick this up. But I said we wanted to get into the Canadian Action Party and, of course, what you stand for. And one of the major planks of the Canadian Action Party is increasing the use of the Bank of Canada so that we can decrease our dependency on foreign creditors and foreign banks and, and, and uh, lessen their control over our country. But it's a big job. And there's a gentleman named Chris Porter the leader of the Canadian Action Party, who is taking on this job by taking a chance by running in this election here in the Toronto Danforth riding. So let's get to know Chris Porter a bit. Chris, who is Chris Porter? I'm a Canadian. I have three children, and I look into their future, and I'm scared. I'm scared, and as every good father wants to do, wants to make sure they leave something behind for their children. But we have to do it collectively as a nation. We have to all admit that uh, we've made a mistake, We've tried these other systems since the 70s. It hasn't worked. We're facing a depression right now. And uh, that's why I'm running. And uh, that's why I 
believe so passionate that you need to participate. I never used to participate, and so I was one of the guilty few too. And uh, unfortunately, the guilty few, few has almost turned into a guilty majority. Only 61% of the population voted last year. And that's scary when these major decisions of our future and our sovereignty are being determined by a few people elected by almost a minority of the population. So we have to stimulate everyone to get back. We have to get them empowered and say, no, we can have uh, involvement in this. We need to participate. And I always say, if we don't participate, we're spectating or speculating. And uh, that's not uh, good enough for Canada. I, I agree uh, completely uh, in the sense that um it is scary when only 61% of the population votes, and it's even scarier when no matter who we vote for, basically the same policies happen and, 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 and we have the same issues that we, we uh, deal with and, and debate and discuss each election. And that's why we want parliamentary reform. We want to make sure the MPs understand that they, the, the bosses are the constituents. That's yeah. the boss. And, and they need to get more involved. The MPs need to spend more time in the ridings, need to open up more public topics of discussion here. You can't just satisfy those that voted for you. There's a huge population in the riding that didn't vote for you. You need to satisfy those people as well. Where were you born? Uh, where were you raised? I was born in the middle of British Columbia at Williams Lake. Um, okay. I'm a cowboy and uh, spent my life uh, on the sea, working all around the world. And that's what uh, I was so shocked at when I returned from spending so much time overseas. I came back to Canada and saw a diluted Canada. And uh, when I started traveling, the Canadian flag was used by many travelers on their bags, almost even Americans, to say, hey, it was like a free passage around the world because you were the world's best friend. And all of a sudden, we're not the world's best friend anymore. And we're just uh, the little brother of America. And so we lost that identity. We lost our sovereignty. We lost our, our nationalism. And it's not good enough just to say we're nationalists because we have a Canadian hockey team. We have to go further than that. We have to regain that trust of the world, that we're not the little brother of America, and that we are an independent nation and we do have different points of views. Fair enough. And, and you're here in the Toronto Danforth riding uh, in, in the greater Toronto area appealing to uh, lots of people. Basically the whole world is here. You mentioned you've seen the world in some of your travels. And when you travel you realize how many of people, general public, actually are very nationalist. You know, in every country you go to they're very proud of their country. So you have to question why we're heading towards this globalist approach when most of the people are happy living in their country and want to improve their country. I think you're right and I think the main issue about being nationalist and being against global control is that you want local control. And here in Canada, um, what you may find when you, when you get out there to people is you'll find people uh, definitely want to protect where they live first and foremost. And so um, your where thought... Where they live, where they eat. Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 you know, you're, the basic necessities of your, life. Your I'm thoughts on that it. to, to the, the, the people of this riding, Chris Porter of the Canadian Action Party at votecap.ca, what do you have to say to them? Well, you have to get right down to the local level and you have to, everyone understands that the situation isn't great right now in Canada and that's the problem. Everyone's feeling it. There's not enough jobs, there's not enough work, and there's not enough hope in our nation anymore. So once people can relate to you that they understand that things aren't good right now, then they're open to listening to some solutions. Because no one's really offering concrete solutions like a Bank of Canada. No one offers a solution that is direct right to the point of the problem, which is the control of the money. I agree. I agree. The control of the money is ultimately it. Um, Chris Porter, any final thoughts uh, to end this conversation? I mean, where can people find out more about uh, the Canadian Action Party about your work. Well, check us out at uh, votecap.ca as well as canadianactionparty.ca and just make sure you research. Make sure you ask the tough questions to your local representatives and make sure you get involved in your democracy. Fantastic. Chris Porter, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.